we should take pride if we're going to take anything, uh, if we're going to take pride at all from how, from how we serve those people who need it the most. Yeah. Um, Cause that's where, it, that's where it actually means something. That's where it's impactful. Yeah, I agree. Um, I think the next talk, maybe we can actually get into the, the tyranny of merit and what merit means. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> but, yeah. but for this one, I think earlier, Josh, you had actually captured um, many of the truths that cognitive scientists and um, people who study what, how learning works uh, have published, which is like belief, right? Uh, belief is a huge part of being able to, you know, Think about our cognitive dissonance, whether it's a subject matter at hand, whether it's a lecture, whether it's an assignment, whether it's an exam that we're prepping for, to then be able to think outside the box of how might this information serve me in my near and far future. Um, and that conversation does not exist <laughs> in so many students. Yeah. Well, I think often there's not room for that in the classroom. And I think part of the reason is that a, cl a classroom isn't really designed for an individual student to have a revelation and share it with the class. <laughs> but that, that is often what learning is for a person is, is those moments of revelation. You're like, Oh my God, I need to share this with somebody. <laughs> but classes aren't set up for that. Um, otherwise you'd be sitting there for, you know, for weeks on end listening to each student individually <laughs> talk about the revelation and that's not going to serve. It's not going to serve the class. Mm -hmm. But yeah, those, uh, yeah, th those moments are amazing. Mm 